In this video, we provide the solution to question number 16 from practice, the, the practice final exam for math 1050. We have to compute the remainder and quotient of the rational function r of x equals 3x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x minus 2 all over 3x squared plus x plus 1. Um, as the denominator is a quadratic uh, function, we, get, we can't use synthetic division to do the division here. We're going to have to use long division. So let's set that thing up. So our divisor is 3x squared plus x plus 1. We need to then divide the numerator 3x to the fourth minus x cubed. There's no x squared term, so I'm actually going to leave a space for it. Um, plus x minus 2 like so. So then we ask ourselves, how many times does 3x squared divide into 3x to the fourth? That's going to happen exactly x squared times. Um, so that's why I left a gap for the x squared term there. So again, what we're doing here is 3x to the fourth divided by 3x squared. Um, that equals just x squared. That's where this number came from. Um, so next, what we have to do is we have to take x squared and times it by our divisor, 3x squared plus x plus 1. Distribute this throughout, and you end up with 3x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared, like so. I'm going to record that over here. So we have a 3x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared. And then we subtract this from above. Um, the, th the first term should always cancel out if we chose this number correctly. Um, then be careful with this because you have a double negative. Well, I, I shouldn't say you have a double negative. You have a negative here. Then this distributes. And so it's just a single negative. JK on that one. But you're going to get a negative x cubed minus x cubed. So the thing is they actually combine to give you a two, negative 2x two cubed. And then as you have no x squared, you have 0x squared minus x squared, which gives you a negative x squared like so. Um, bring down the next term. Um, you, don't, you could bring down all the terms, but we actually won't need the negative 2 yet, so I'm not going to bring it down yet. Um, then we repeat this process. How many times does 3x squared divide into negative 2x cubed? In that situation, we'd end up with a negative 2 thirds x, like so. So again, what are we doing here? We're just computing the ratio. We're just computing the ratio negative 2x cubed divided by 3x squared. That simplifies to be negative 2 thirds x, like so. That's the number that went up here. Uh, then we have to take this partial quotient, 2 thirds x, and times it by the divisor, 3x squared plus x plus 1. Um, so with the first one, you end up with a negative 2x cubed. For the next one, you're going to have negative 2 thirds x squared and another negative 2 thirds x, like so. We then record that over here, negative 2x cubed minus 2 thirds x squared minus 2 thirds x, like so. We then subtract this from above. The first term should cancel out perfectly. Um, the next ones, maybe not so much. We do have some fractions here, so be careful here. Um, so you're going to subtract 1x squared, and then this is a double negative. So you have, you're going to take 1 should, should say, sorry, negative 1 plus 2 thirds. Negative 1, of course, we can write that as negative 3 thirds plus 2 thirds. So that's going to give us a negative 1 third when we're done. That's the coefficient of x squared that we're going to record right here. Negative 1 third x squared. Uh, a similar thing for the next one. Um, you will distribute this negative sign here. So that's going to be a 1 plus 2 thirds. 1 plus 2 thirds this time. So again, it's 3 thirds plus 2 thirds. Uh, that's going to give us 5 thirds. That's the coefficient of x that we need to put in there. So we get 5 thirds x like so. Bring down the negative 2. And then we have to do this one more time. So again, we have the leading term here, negative 1 third x squared. We divide that by 3. That actually is going to give us a negative 1 ninth right there as the quotient. So at this moment, actually, I'm going to put a label here. Uh, we found our quotient, All right, let's actually label this. This is our quotient because we're asked to identify the quotient. So we have the quotient, but we need to find the remainder. So we're not quite done with that yet. Uh, what we have to do is we have to take this thing and times it by negative one ninth. So three X squared times negative one ninth will be negative one third X squared. Um, X times negative one ninth will be one, negative one ninth X. And then negative one ninth times one is negative one ninth, like so. We subtract this from above. Again, the leading term should cancel out perfectly. Uh, for the next one, it might take a little bit more effort here because we have some fractions to deal with. So we have 5 thirds plus 1 ninth. 
so we should rewrite the 5 thirds as 15 ninths plus 1 ninth. That's going to give us 16 ninths there. So we record that. Uh, 16 over 9x. And then for the last part there, we have a negative 2 plus 1 ninth. Negative 2 plus 1 ninth. So I'm, again, I'm going to rewrite the denominator so it's a 9 there. So I'm going to get negative 18 over 9 plus 1 ninth like so. And so that will then combine to give us a negative 17 ninths, in which case that then gives us the rest of the remainder, negative 17 ninths like so. Uh, maybe put a box or something to indicate that we've now found the remainder here. Clearly indicate what we have. And so zooming out, we could then see the quotient was x squared minus 2 thirds x minus 1 ninth. And then the remainder was 16, 16 ninths x minus 17 ninths.